Hey team, my name is Dr. Jen McCollum and I'm your instructor for this course at APIS Literature 220, Early American Literature. I prefer that my students refer to me as either Jen or Professor McCollum. I really do prefer to be called Jen, so if that's comfortable for you, I'd like you to just call me Jen and refer to me as Jen in the forums and also in your emails to me. Um, I'm making this video today to welcome you to the course so that you feel very comfortable as we get situated in the course and you also feel like you have a clear direction uh, for how to perform as we go forth with week one. So that's the intention of this video. I also want to let you know that at the top of every new week, I will have a new overview video for you waiting here on the homepage in Sakai. Now this overview video serves a couple of purposes. The first purpose that the overview video will serve every week is it will give a brief reflection of the week that came before so that we can start to synthesize the weeks that have gone by together. That'll help us, I hope, to see how each week is relevant, piggybacking on the next week, kind of building up, <clears throat> excuse me, um, our learning so that we can see where we've been so that we can know where we're going. The overview video also will give you tips for success, how to really feel successful in the coming week so that it will be a good supplement for you for the module lesson and for the assignments that are coming up. It'll give you some ways to approach uh, what's on our plate in the coming weeks. And the third way that the weekly overview video will help you uh, in your journey in this course is that it will give you a personality to put with your professor. And I think that is really important in an online environment where we can tend to become very anonymous. We can feel like we're not invested in the process of learning, perhaps as much as a more traditional course. So the overview video serves three really key functions and several more too, I think. Um, videos is something that you can use as well if you feel like you might want to do a little bit of experimentation. So for example, um, for a response to appear in the discussion forum, you are welcome to make your own video rather than typing out your response. Um, this can really bring a great humanistic dynamic to the course. And if you're somebody who wants to do that, I really welcome that. Thank you for that. So as we get started with week one, I want to let you know that there are some resources that I have designed for you to help to guide you through the course. One of these resources you can find on YouTube. I have my own YouTube channel. It's called Jen McCollum. Pretty easy to find. There's also a link for it in the uh, welcome announcement that you can locate as well. I recommend that you go to my YouTube channel immediately and that you bookmark it. I have a station on my YouTube channel called the Writing Overview Series. This series includes a number of videos that I've designed to help you understand what makes good academic level writing for this undergraduate course. So when you go there, you'll get videos that can explain basics of academic writing, such as how uh, well, such of what it is, um, how it functions, how to make arguments, how to develop a line of inquiry, how to structure your paragraphs, really everything that you want to know. Now, I am adding videos to this overview series frequently, so feel free to keep coming back and checking up on the latest editions. This channel can help you to really grapple with some of the basics of academic writing. And I think we can probably all attest to the fact that it can be confusing sometimes. So take advantage of that resource. Um, as we start week one, we are starting with examining some texts in which exploration is at the forefront, of course, the discovery of the new world and our interactions with um, the natives of the land and what people were saying about those natives, what people were saying about the exploration going on to bring uh, them to America. So here in the first week, we are, of course, getting ourselves familiar with the discovery of this land and some of the politics involved in that, some of the complexities involved in that. And there certainly are a lot of complexities. 
So our readings this week, you can always find the readings uh, through the link that will be directly in the module every week. So you don't need to purchase a text for this class. All of the readings that you'll have will be embedded directly in the module each week. So very, very easy to follow along with the readings. Um, this week as well, you are required, as you are every week, to do a discussion forum post. And I'd like to take just a couple minutes to tell you about the importance of the forums. For me, the forums are the most important aspect of an online course in literature because the forums function as discussion would function in a traditional classroom. And for me, discussion is the most important part of grappling with text because it gives us the chance to explore ideas, to pose questions, to interact with each other, and to form ways of reading text that are unconventional, non-traditional. We problematize, we argue. The discussion forum is also a place where you can practice the key moves of academic writing and academic inquiry. So it serves a number of functions. I want to let you know that every forum has a prompt that you need to follow. And oftentimes that prompt will include two parts. And you need to address each of those parts. But keep in mind as well that whenever you feel like questions are coming up about a text or whenever you see something in a text that other students might not see or that isn't really addressed in the prompt, you always have the liberty to explore and examine your interests in the text. So I want you to keep in mind that while you have to write to the prompt to a certain degree so that I can see that you comprehend it, that you are able to do that, you also have the power to explore any ideas that interest you from the text because these could become essay ideas. These could really foster deeper um, discussion of the topic. So keep that in mind as you go forward. Every discussion board post has uh, two main components. You have your main post, which is the post that you make by Thursday at midnight. I prefer that students make that main post as early in the week as possible. The earlier you make your post in the week, the more likely that post is to get a response from me immediately. So I start to look for your weekly post around Tuesday. If you can get your post out by Tuesday and even Wednesday, that would be great, but your deadline is Thursday. So get that main post out by Thursday at midnight. That main post addresses the prompt. And also, it, it addresses any other issues that you want to bring up about the texts. Um, so every main post also needs to include a works cited bibliographic entry. If you are not sure what that looks like, go to my YouTube site. I have a video on there for you that can guide you through basic citation. Um, all I need is a basic citation from you for every single main post that you make. You will lose credit if it isn't there. So keep your mind on that. The second component of the weekly forum is that you have to respond to at least two peers by Sunday at midnight. So that response can take really any form that you like, unless there are particular instructions for your response, which sometimes there will be. But it should be a thorough response. You should pose questions that keeps the discussion going. I really like to see students engaging in aggressive ways. Not aggressive meaning angry, but aggressive ways meaning, you know, you're really trying to move discussion forward. You're trying to pose questions or push students to reconsider their ideas um, in interesting ways that help us to get deeper into the text. That's what I want to see. That's really important. So here in week one, you have some readings on the discovery of America, and you also have your forum post on those readings. In addition, you also have um, uh, an introductory post in the forums, introducing yourself, saying hello. You can feel free to include pictures or videos, links, whatever 
whatever floats your boat, the more you can say about yourself, I think the stronger community we have the potential to build in this classroom. I hope that you guys have a wonderful first week, and I hope that you will reach out to me if you have any questions or concerns, or if you just want to stop by and say hello, tell me a little bit more about yourself in private. I hope you guys have a great week, and I will see you here next week. Bye for now.